Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you once again from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who loves us. A God who created us. A God who had a plan to restore us to himself if we simply choose him. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Isaiah chapter 9, starting at verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, established and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Of course, this is a prophecy of, of the Christ to come. And as we celebrate the Advent season, I don't know about you, but I'm excited uh, about celebrating Christmas. And one of the reasons why I, I get excited about it is because of the opportunity to share with others of what God has done for us. Now, I know I probably said this before, even this year, but uh, the idea is, is that without the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ on the cross, his birth doesn't mean as much. But because he did, uh, we recognize his birth as this amazing moment in time. And of course, God does it in an amazing way. Uh, but in this prophecy, uh, we see all the things that Jesus is. Um, the wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. Uh, he That is what Christ is all about. Why? Because he is part of God. He is part of the, the triune God, the, the Godhead, if you will, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, um, and, and so when we recognize who Jesus is and what he did in order to become one of us, uh, he, he went through all the experiences that we went through. He, he was born a baby. He grew up in a household. He had parents to obey. And of course, he was without sin. We know that. Um, and so uh, he was perfect. That's the reason why he could be the sacrifice. But he went through all these steps. And even as... Uh, probably a teenager and then an in, in, in early adult uh, into his ministry at, at age 30 and all these things that would take place, he never sinned. He never went against God's will and plan for him. Uh, and so what we see here is an example of, of the love of God uh, through this process of, of growing up and, and being a human being and taking on the limitations of a human being so that we could have a Savior that can relate to us, so that we could have a Savior who can truly pay the price for our sins. Uh, what does that mean? That means that the birth of Christ uh, means everything to us because it's his birth that, that brings about all of the things that make him uh, human. Uh, so he was both human and divine, if you will. Uh, fully God, fully man at the same time. But in that humanness, we can relate to that. You know, as we think about the Christmas season, as we think about Advent and, and this idea of the coming of uh, the Savior that we're celebrating, let's make sure we don't lose our focus. Let's make sure that our focus doesn't get on all the other things. Not that we can't uh, celebrate uh, some of the traditions and all those things, but let's make sure our focus is truly on God and that we're sharing God with the world. God so loved us uh, that he gave a son. Let's so love God that we're willing to give anything that others might have a son as well. Today, uh, let's praise God with all that we do. Let's use our life to be an example to others. Uh, let's ask God to use us that others might see his glory. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the season of celebration as we celebrate on the birth of Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, we know that uh, he is fully God, fully man at the same time. That He's part of the triune God, uh, part of you. Uh, and so we're so grateful that you took this on, uh, that we might have eternal life through his death and resurrection. And so, Lord, help us to celebrate. Help us to take this time of year to share with others what Jesus means in our hearts. Father, we call upon him as our uh, mighty counselor, as uh, the Prince of Peace, and trusting that he will provide for all of our needs. And so, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that has come uh, in his place as he is at your right hand and the Holy Spirit now leads and guides us. Thank you for all that we have. Father, help us that, to live a life that might showcase your glory, that we would become less and you would become more, and others this year would choose Jesus as their greatest gift ever, ever received. Father, we thank you for all that you're about to do this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Uh, let's celebrate Christmas uh, the best way we know how by sharing the love of Jesus with others. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.